Look at that sexy bastard, you are correct. What's the schedule like? We beat the Seychelles 3-2 last game. We got Madagascar away, Brunei at home, Tonga away and Bermuda away. All friendlies to see off 2019. We're nearly into a new decade, everybody. World Cup qualifying. Ah, we got World Cup qualifying. Let's view the draw. Djibouti have only been past this round once. Let's go for the automatic draw. I really want someone like Lesotho. That would be good. Djibouti at home against... Oh my goodness. No, that is probably the worst tie that we could have got. How have Mauritania got up into the top 100? What is this? What, they were 171st? This team is doing a better Dare to Dream story than us? Brunei has disappeared from the friendlies. And it's because of the World Cup qualification. Of course, Deco's at it straight away and saying we've got to get a friendly with Zanzibar. Nirin's in the chat and we had a friendly with Brunei all set up. I really want to see the box against Djibouti as well. Oh, he's only putting one forward in the side again. What an absolute idiot. Uh, hashtag Deco out, I swear. He's getting worse. Have pride in the blue shirt that you're wearing. Madagascar, they stand no chance. We are Djibouti. We are the greatest. Madagascar have already taken two shots, but it looks like we might have the first clear cut chance as Cabs collects the ball. Ugwe Yassin to Rose. There's Abdi. Oh, go on, Cabs! Great assist, and he's missed it. What a, what a pleb. This guy has come into the squad. Jackson said he's not in after scoring four goals in three games. This guy misses a, an easy chance, really. Jackson said, gash leg, they both would have put that in. Tackle, tackle. Right, that's a great clearance, that. From underneath his crossbar. Madagascar with the seven shots, Djibouti with the five. The ban throwing in and just giving it to Madagascar. Pretty sure they don't know the rules. Throw-ins might be completely alien to them. Ugwe Yassin, goal, goal. Where's that going? I expect big things of this team and it's just not coming together. Well done. Abdi into Guidi. Wow, he's bad. He's very bad. And we can't even change him because the assistant manager thinks that it's just fine to have one striker. Get it on the wing, lad. Get it someone. Get it on the wing. Our best players are on the wing. Oh No, no, go for the ball. Go. Oh, no, this is bad. This is seriously bad. At this point, I just wish for 11 people that understood the rules of football. Down the rankings we go. I'm going to say the lemurs poisoned us before the match. A win against Nepal could at least alleviate the pressures. The fall down the sharp, tumble down the world rankings. Oh, Manish Singh, so cool. Go. Well, he's... Conceded a penalty and Djibouti had a chance. Hopefully it's not that guy that we've got up front. It's not. This guy, Ugwe Yassin, has put it into the side netting. Ramadan, Ugwe Yassin. Napole nil, Djibouti won. Oh, goal, goal. Oh, yes! We'll take that. Is it an own goal? That goal was disallowed. All right, the chat's coming on for that. Apparently that goal was disallowed. This guy's standing offside. But it doesn't look like he's impeding the goal. He mm, might be. Could be a smart call by the referee. I've not seen it before on Football Manager. That's a new one. Knox Milford, Ugwe Yassin, goal, goal. Want the long shot. Knox Milford plays it back. Are we Barcelona in disguise? The answer is no. And Nepal, oh my goodness, no. Thank you. I think that hit the post. Greedy. Here's Waiz. Yes. Go on. Look at this passing. And then it just all crumbles. Yes, Knox Milford. Yeah, down in the opposite bottom corner. Come on now. We can't lose from this position, surely. We're looking at a win in Nepal. I've got a banging headache. <laughs> oh, mate, it's bad. Oh, yes, lads. The next match. Djibouti against Sierra Leone. Deco now going to show his full hand. The reason why he's an absolute genius. 
is going to bring out a team that will slaughter Sierra Leone. 13 days between us and World Cup glory. Of the smallest category, but it is World Cup glory. No, 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 Deco, no, no, that's not how you, no, no, no. I think this is properly hashtag Deco out. I, I think this is it. See you in a bit. Deco is gone. After all this time, I'll stick the chat on just so you can celebrate whilst I try and find a new assistant manager. Hooray! Yay! So we need 10 10. Okay. Well, Deco's not the best assistant manager anymore. We got these guys 11 10. And we got 11 10. So it's, it's very close. But then again, if you look at the rest of the stats, this guy who is the assistant manager of Obok Wonders is clearly standing out like a sore thumb. Would you like to be the B team manager of Djibouti? How about that deco? Does that tickle your fancy? No, it doesn't. Would you like to be under 20's assistant manager for Djibouti? Nope, it's a bit of a dickhead, isn't he? I mean, I'm still going to have to use his suggested squad, which means that we don't have any forwards for the World Cup qualifying game. Smart. So this is our new assistant manager. We've got attacking 12, defending 10, man management 16, mental 12, working with youngsters is a solid 17, adaptability, determination 13 and 12, ju judging player ability and judging player potential both above 10. With motivating at 15, that's good because these lads need a hell of a lot of motivating. Djibouti against Sierra Leone is the first leg of the first round African qualification into the World Cup. One of the biggest matches of Kutsi's short term as Djibouti boss. Keep the possession up lads. 51 to 49. I'm liking it. Three shots to one Djibouti. Alright. Okay we need more of this though. I want to see more of it. Keep plugging away. Take the ball. Lads. Don't screw it up now. You had such a good start. Great save. Oh, look who's in the net. <laughs> the guy who's in the net was the first ever goalkeeper that Deco selected. Hickman Arendt, who played for East Bengal for a bit. He's gone to Djibouti City, but he played for East Bengal. And he's also played for Pride Sports in India. Awesome. You got that. Hassan. Yes, give it Knox Milford. He'll know what to do with it. Labauma. Uh, keep it in. Yes. Alright. Knock it about gently. We don't need to mess about with it. We don't... Oh! Oh, man. And he still missed it. He was offside and he still missed it. <laughs> Another key highlight. We're doing alright. Hit it! What the fuck is this? Ah, it's fine. I'm alright. I'm happy. I'm really happy. I'm in pain, but I'm happy. Djibouti won Sierra Leone nil. And this is the reason why they're slumping so far down in the world rankings. Because they just they just can't do it. Djibouti, if they hold on to this, they're going to steam up the world rankings. Oh my. Goal, goal. Yes. Hit it. <gasps> The stats show a different story, but Djibouti are 2-0 up. No, oh, he's onside. Great save. Oh, keeper's done everything that he could there to stop the Sierra Leone goal. Torfiq's getting them all motivated. They're loving life at the moment. Torfiq has done more in about 90 minutes of being an assistant manager than Deco did for about two years. We've had Deco out now, hashtag trusting Torfiq. Oh yes.